look to the sky and see the newest version of 20, 23.1 from YoYo Games. Our prophets, our overlords have once again gifted us with the newest iteration and new functionality, new stuff after two months. And then uh, we will definitely be looking forward to new bling bling stuff, new cool features and everything uh, which was promised here. But as, as we can see, wait a minute, 23.2, that's the next month. And then this one, eh, that's also later coming. So once again, no bling bling part. So this patch will be tons of knobs in my opinion. Of course, I won't be using most of that stuff. A few things are still worth it. So once again, should you update it? If you updated it the last three times, then I would say yes, because there are two things. This dude here, and <laughs> not you, and this dude here, perfect, I love it. So basically, excellent additions, which make a customizing and doing things on the fly much, 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 much faster and easier uh, for us developers. So this is pretty cool stuff, and I love it. So let's start off with the bling bling. Once again, nope, nothing in here. So we got no um, new um, effects no new uh, shaders, nothing which is visual and nothing which is, I don't know, GUI, nothing of that sort. So the first thing which I definitely dig is the move and collide function. Actually pretty powerful. It looks complicated, but it is not. It's basically just checking like horizontal and vertical inputs. And then you just pass them in like and say like, hey, collide with that. And then if there is a collision, you won't be going there. This is basically it. It's just, you know, checking if you collide somewhere. Super convenient and of course more customizable. Very, very nice. So I'll, I love that approach. This is going to be uh, very beneficial for beginners and of course for advanced users also because here once again it can do slopes. It is super convenient. It will replace tons of um, annoyingly and uh, pointlessly, uh, well, complicated code and therefore unifying it there. That's a plus plus from my side. So once again, very powerful. That's of course the best one, best feature uh, all over. And then we go to the next thing, CRISPR runtime fonts. And then you, there you use STFs. STFs, I got a wonderful block of uh, XOR expanding that. That's just basically a mathematical method, which is then using to kind of interpolate and make things uh, much more CRISPR if you uh, upscale it and so on. Not completely like I told you, you know, it's a little bit more complicated. It's definitely math heavy, but uh, it can be used for uh, light. And I assume, and this is a big assumption from my side, why the new filters like blend and glow are coming later, because I assume they will use STFs and that will be a fast format of making lights. Hopefully this is, this is the way they will be going. And then we finally get a good light system after, I don't know, a bazillion years later, but hey, uh, better later than never. And then we got the biggest and uh, well, a big nope from my side, static structs for functions. Ooh, okay, nope, go away, completely pointless for me. You can, but <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> then we get tremolo audio effect. And if you're thinking, ooh, that could be interesting. Uh, it's basically uh, running an oscillator through a sound file which sounds pretty terrible. So if you just run it here, it's, uh, yeah, it's terrible. So I'm not sure what this is actually good for. You can kind of distort stuff, but I don't see the practicability to this one, to be honest. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a big nope from my side once again. And then we go to new audio functions. This is once again, pretty sweet. You use a struct and with a struct, you can actually customize your, a sound file really fast, which is great, which is really good. So you can, you can customize on the fly and really, really um, the good things instantly, which is pretty cool. And then here you can even define the position and so on. This is great for 3D sound. And then you maybe you want to have a little bit higher of a volume. So you uh, bump up the gain or just lower it or you have a different pitch and then you can just kind of squeeze it or uh, you know you can modulate the sound so it's not sounding all the time the same really good i love it so here um excellent i love i love that so here these two things definitely worth updating and then 
what else do we got? So we got new functions for arrays, always good. Arrays are very useful and very powerful. And then you can do some more stuff with it. And then uh, the rest stuff, completely, you, you can completely give a big knob to add there once again. New audio function, yes. And uh, yeah, big knob from that side. And easy collisions with slope, yes, that's pretty cool. So once again, if you update it um, the last three times, do it, I guess, right now because, uh, of course, please make a copy because we all really, we all know that the first patches are always a little bit, uh, eh, not always, uh, you know, in the clean, and they up, uh, quickly update that after that. So of course they they do their due diligence, but once again, make a copy, check it out if it's worth for you. For me, it definitely is. This is super powerful. I'm really looking forward to that. This is great customer bit earlier. This is. Um, a great functionality so i love that once again and i don't love love that i love just that and then the rest is it's okay is this gonna be the best uh, update ever ever but once again no bling bling stuff no nothing which i can show you like ooh, cool effects and stuff nothing in this here a big nope from my side sandy but hey this is the way it goes maybe the next one will be more visual but of course for the programmers or for beginners, this will be pretty cool. Alrighty, that is pretty much it from uh, my side. Have a good one. One up indie.